20 weeks. It's about five months. It's long enough for anyone to make an informed decision about whether they have to continue with this decision they've made. Five months into a job, you know whether it's good or just soul-sucking. Five months into a relationship, you figure out if this is going to last or if the way they chew is going to drive you insane. Five months into college, you realize if the debt you're accruing is worth the degree or if you want to join your friend's new band forever. But five months is being argued by pro-lifers on whether a woman can get an abortion or not. But as mentioned earlier, if there is a reason to have a late-term procedure like this, it's a serious issue, and it's not one that ends with, well, I just don't feel like having a kid right now. The Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act is backed by Speaker of the House John Boehner and is a bill that will make it illegal for a woman to go through an abortion procedure after 20 weeks, unless the mother's life is in danger, but it has no language on sexual abuse cases. One of the issues with this bill is that the decision to have a child or not is a personal one and now the government is regulating how you handle your personal matters. If politicians get to regulate the personal matters of Americans, the American people should get to regulate their business. We get to tell them who funds their campaigns and how much they can get funded by these people. Then we have our hands in everybody's pies. The bill is tugging on the heartstrings of the people, even in the name there's an emotional tie, which is definitely going to lead to some Boehner tears when critics voice their opinions on this. He will immediately turn into Reverend Lovejoy's wife from The Simpsons claiming, think of the children. What about think of the family? Can they afford the child? Is the mother healthy? Was this decision made on their own? Can the studio apartment handle another human? The 20 week mark is supposedly when the prenatal child starts to feel pain, but there's no science backing that claim. And if the Republicans can stay quiet on the climate change issue because they aren't scientists, then they should stay quiet about the issue of what women can do with their bodies. The issue at hand is the polar nature of this topic. The either you're with us or against us attitude doesn't help with progression. Shutting down abortion clinics because people are mad when women are asking for rights to their bodies doesn't help with this issue. Condemning doctors for making medical decisions makes the world think we don't know the difference between science and magic. If pro-lifers say 20 weeks is the threshold for this sort of a procedure, then they should take into account emergency medical complications immediately and victims of sexual abuse. Without some kind of compromise, it seems like these pro-lifers are just spoiled children who are yelling when they don't get their way. Kind of like how Boehner reacted when pro-choicers got 224,000 signatures against this bill and he just locked himself in his office, probably to cry or redefine socialism or what a woman is. Now, that's a lot of voices to ignore and not come to some kind of middle ground on this bill.